good morning students i think uh, we have seen uh, chapter number 2 i think we have started right so till the solution it is over so next is examples for that solution and uh, properties of solution we will be seeing it but till then <clears throat> uh, i think uh, you must be remembering what is homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture right what are the examples for that homogeneous and heterogeneous then what is solution even solution is a homogeneous mixture right solution is also a homogeneous mixture right the next we come across two words in this solution that is solute and solvent solute and solvent solvent is the one which dissolves in solvent right solid is the one which dissolves in solvent and becomes solution solvent is the one which allows the solid to dissolve in it this is solvent so solid is usually present in less quantity whereas this solvent is usually present in large quantity example for this is solution of salt and water or sugar and water so we are dissolving salt in water right we are dissolving this salt in water so is salt in a less quantity or is water in less quantity it is salt which is in less quantity that is why solvent here is salt the next sugar and water here also sugar is present in less quantity that is why even this sugar is also a solvent is this clear okay we will be seeing next properties of solution so what kind of properties will be a solution showing the first one is it is always a homogeneous mixture it is a homogeneous mixture what do you mean by homogeneous mixture it is uniformly composed throughout composition is uniform throughout that solution the next <coughs> solution is always a homogeneous mixture <coughs> the next particles of solution are very small small means they are very small so they are of a size of uh, we call it as 1 nm where the nm stands for nanometer nanometer means 10 to the power of minus 9 meter so 1 nanometer means 10 to the power of minus 9 that is what is 1 nanometer so imagine how these particles are smaller right as they are small in size this is the diameter diameter of the particles diameter of particles is 1 nanometer so these cannot be seen by our naked eyes as the particles are of size 1 nanometer <coughs> remember 1 nanometer means 10 to the power of minus 9 this is the diameter of the particle i think you might know if this is a circle and this is the diameter so the size from a to b that is the diameter so particles diameter is of 10 to the power minus 9 means imagine how much small the particles would be that is why they cannot be seen by our naked eyes is this clear 
as the particles are of smaller size because of the smaller size of particles because of smaller size of particles they do not scatter a beam of light they do not scatter a beam of light passing through it for example we have a beacon right assume that there is a solution in this there is a solution that is solute and solvent will be present if a torch is lighted and if it is made to go in this direction the torch starts moving like this right if this is the torch and it can be seen only here as the particles in this solution are of smaller size smaller size in the sense 1 nanometer 10 to the power of minus 9 is the diameter of the particles which are present in this solution so what they are doing as they are smaller in size they do not allow the light to scatter so they do not allow the light to scatter in this particle so the path of light is not visible path of light is not visible is this clear this point especially third one as they are of a smaller in size they do not allow the light to scatter if it doesn't allow the light to scatter then we do not see the path of light that is why what i have done the path of light is not visible the next property of this solution is the solute particles what the solute particles cannot be separated the solute particles cannot be separated by the process of filtration cannot be separated by filtration process you must remember activity 1 and 2 then only you will get all this idea which beaker was having a solution which beaker was having a suspension and all right homogeneous heterogeneous so if you remember that activity 2 you will understand the solute particles cannot be separated by a process of filtration in this solution is this clear then last property is the solute particles do not settle down when left undisturbed the solute particles do not settle down when left undisturbed is this clear so properties of solution first it is homogeneous mixture what it is it is homogeneous mixture then particles are of size 1 nanometer particles are of size 1 nanometer what is 1 nanometer it is 10 raised to power 9 minus 9 
so 10 raised to the power of minus 9 that is the size of the particles diameter so as they are smaller in size we cannot see them by naked eyes so by our naked eyes we cannot see the particles which are there in the solution the next because of this small size of particles they do not scatter the beam of light passing through it so whenever light is passed through this solution the path of light of that uh, the path of light is not visible in that solution then the next solid particles cannot be separated from mixture this cannot be separated from mixture from mixture by a process called filtration then last one the solute particles do not settle down when left undisturbed so once we stir it once it is completely dissolved we will leave it for few minutes so that we are not going to disturb that solution so even though if that, uh, if that solution is left undisturbed the particles are not going to settle down so is this clear everyone these were the properties of solution